The Erland de Ten. The Erland de Ten is 302 feet 92 meters long, which is about 60 feet 18 meters longer than the biggest airliners. A British firm has spent the past nine years developing the prototype in the UK's biggest aircraft hangar, at Cardington in Bedfordshire. It will be floated inside the hangar for the first time since its completion. The airship, which cost £25 million to build, can stay in the same spot for three weeks, and can even fly with bullet holes in it. The US Army ran out of money to develop it as a surveillance machine, so the British aerospace company behind it bought the rights back. Hybrid air vehicles have believes the vessel, which is silent and emits no pollution, could be the future for air travel. The aircraft needs 1.3 meters cubic feet of helium, enough to fill 15 Olympic-sized swimming pools, to get off the ground. It can take off vertically and land on almost any surface, including ice, desert and water. The firm is hoping to build 12 airlanders a year by 2018, some as passenger aircraft that will carry up to 48 people at a time. Chris Daniels, head of partnerships at Hybrid Air Vehicles, said, we will not compete with the 747 flying across the Atlantic, but we can offer the ultimate flight experience for tourism and leisure purposes. It's perfect for sightseeing because we can have floor-to-ceiling clear panels, and we can open the windows because we are not flying as high or as fast as traditional planes, but we will not be offering a service to get from A to B as quickly as possible. Other plans include providing Coast Guard duties, military and civil surveillance, filming and academic research. Companies that deliver heavy equipment to remote corners of the world might also find the aircraft useful, Mr. Daniels said, or they might be used in humanitarian missions. The firm hopes to take the Airland 10 on its first flight outside of the hangar in the next few months. Tim Robinson, editor-in-chief of Aerospace, highlighted concerns over the price of scarce helium and the impact of the weather on its ability to fly. However, he said the invention could be the new smartphone, because customers might not realize how much they need one until it is here. A comeback by airships has been predicted before and it didn't happen. So there is an element of where we go again, but this is a next generation model using new materials and new technologies, said Mr. Robinson. If you need to transport goods then it's cheaper than aircraft and faster than shipping, so there could be a market there, and the humanitarian possibilities are also really exciting. I wouldn't be surprised if the UN eventually ends up buying some, but everyone is waiting for the company to prove itself in demonstrations first. End of information.